Are you currently looking out for a new opportunity but having difficulty in getting your resume shortlisted? Getting an interview call is quite difficult and in this video I am going to help you with 5 golden tips to get more interview calls. So in order to get you with more interview calls, what is the most key element that we would need to focus on? Yes, it's our resume writing. So in order to write an incredible resume, there are some proven foundational principles that we should follow. Whether you are making a resume for your first job or improving upon a good resume we've had for years. So I'm going to share the five key learnings up front and end with the practical resume writing tips that would help you to immediately stand out. So let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn at Cloud Analytics. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sailaja and we are all about data analytics, career and interview tips. So if you're looking to make a career in data analytics, then please do consider subscribing for more such actionable content. So among the five different tips that I'm going to talk about now, the first key tip is about having the resumes with a LinkedIn profile included tend to see higher interview rates. The tip number two is always try to include important keywords and skills that is needed for your particular job description along with the soft skills. The third tip is all about include the measurable metrics in your resume. Fourth one is try to avoid lengthy resumes and try to keep Keep it short and preferably in the range of 475 to 600 words. And the last key tip that I'm going to talk about is try to avoid buzzwords and cliches along with any abbreviations that you might have already included in your resume. So let's get into the first key tip that we focus on. So the first tip is about the LinkedIn profile. So in order to make your profile stand out among the other candidates that might have or who might have already applied for the job interview, right? So try to have a clear professional headshot and a LinkedIn banner being included. And try to always include a informative work experience. And try to also have a meaningful networking to allow you with more opportunities to land with. And lastly, try to ensure that you have a custom LinkedIn URL. So let me quickly go back to the LinkedIn profile and help you understand how you can create one custom URL for your resume. So I'm on my LinkedIn homepage and now I'll go to my profile. And here on my right side where you see this edit public profile and URL, just click on this. And this would allow you to customize your URL as required. So since I've already customized mine, it is not showing up. But by default, when you have created your LinkedIn profile, it might contain alphanumeric characters in your profile name. So try to edit this URL to match to your name so that the recruiters would be able to search you and find you immediately. So once you update your URL, try to uh, ensure to save it so that the changes have been reflected. The other key element here to observe is in most of our resumes, we try to include our uh, contact details like our phone number, address and our email address. But most of us forget to include the LinkedIn profile URL as well. So this is why it is quite important to ensure that we try to include our LinkedIn URL as well, along with the key contact details so that the recruiters can immediately find out who we are and try to see uh, what experience do we have and how do they match to the required job tips or job description. So then the second key tip is about the keywords and the soft skills that is needed to include in a resume. Now, when we try to apply for any job in application, right? So there would be different uh, keywords or uh, there would be different key elements that they might be focusing on. So the recruiter is someone who is non-technical and this person has no clue what the job requirement is all about. So they usually look for the keywords and try to match them with respect to the application that they might have received 
and accordingly they try to filter the candidates. But usually most of the time, the first screening is always with the ATS, that is the applicant tracking system. So this is a computerized machine which would filter the uh, non-potential candidates being uh, shortlisted for the next round of discussion. So how do we ensure that our profile stands out or our resume stands out and we try to be among those high potential candidates? So let me come back again to the other page. So these are some profiles that I have already or these are some job descriptions that I have opened up for your uh, reference purpose. So this profile or this job is all about a Power BI developer role. And if you see here, the responsibilities have been mentioned as lead the team consisting of different uh, developer specialists. And this person should be able to lead the end to end delivery of Power BI projects. So which means that this person should have the uh, project management skills it right and then ownership to ensure the proposed design and architecture deliverables meet the client expectation and solves the business problem with high degree of quality and similarly you have other uh, traits that the recruiter is also looking at so what you can usually do is like just copy all the responsibilities and the elements that they are looking at Okay, so they have given a lot of description here. So I'm just copying everything. And now I'll go back to this word cloud generator and paste this job description in my word cloud generator. Now, when I hit this generate cloud, see, these are the keywords that are highly used or which are most likely used or uh, uh, with of high importance in that particular job description. Now, when we pick up these, uh, uh, high demand keywords that have been populated here and include them in as part of a resume, it would help us or that would wave us with a higher chances of getting shortlisted. So try to include these keywords in your resume so that the chances of getting your interview calls would be increased. Okay, so how did we do this? So I just went to Google and searched for a word cloud generator online. And this is one of those tools that has proposed to me. And in this, I've just copy pasted uh, the job description that I saw on my LinkedIn profile, uh, LinkedIn jobs page. And then um, once I paste it and generate the word cloud, I can see all the important keywords that I can use for my resume. Okay. So uh, then let me come back to this uh, presentation then. So the second uh, trait that we should be focusing here is, right? So we've already found that how do we identify the popular keywords and we would need to include as part of a resume. The third one is along with our uh, core technical skill set, we should all also be including our soft skills in our resume. And this is of high importance as well. So if you see, so if you see the CNBC um, summary that they have provided to us, most of the candidates who, who are applying for any job interviews, right, they tend to lack or they tend to uh, exclude these soft skills being included in their resume. So most of us, we just focus on our uh, technical skills and the project management skills, but rather we do not include on the soft skills part, but this is highly important. So as you can see, the number of jobs listing according to the soft skills are also in huge demand. So that's why it's also quite important that you should focus on your relevant soft skills that is needed for that particular job role. Okay, so then the next important topic is about, So what are we trying to achieve here? So we are trying to grab the attention of the recruiter by re creating an effective resume so that the recruiters are able to find us, uh, find us and we are able to get an interview call. So then tip number three is about try to include the measurable metrics in your resume. So metrics make a value easier to understand and quantify. So when you say that, okay, uh, I have worked on so-and-so project, then the recruiter might not understand 
uh, how did you work on that particular project and what value did you bring into that table right so you would need to give some facts and figures to understand like uh, what value add did you bring into that particular uh, project or in that particular technology so in that way uh, your resume would stand out from the other candidates resumes so for example you could write something like accomplished x is measured by y by doing z so so to give this with a better explanation you can just uh, use this like uh, so for example 33% of increase in productivity for sales team which translates to x amount of incremental revenue so here you are able to uh, propose that percent of increase with respect to the productivity for a specific team and how that had translated to an increase in the incremental revenue so by quantifying with that particular metrics you are able to make sure that or you are able to sell out your candidature to the recruiter okay so try to always include some measurable metrics according to your skills and your technology that you are working with so the tip number 4 is try to have an ideal resume length so having a lengthy uh, resume might not be always uh, preferable so the resumes do not have so much of time to go through the entire four four pages lengthy resume so instead they only spend uh, like couple of seconds like max 30 seconds to 1 minute so 1 minute is also too much but uh, usually they go with a, a high level scan of the resume to understand if this candidate holds all the required skill set that is needed for that job description so how do you know what uh, resume length does your current resume have so you can use a word count tool where you can just copy paste your resume content into that uh, word count tool so you can just go to google and search for a word count tool and that would give you a url so you just go to that particular website and just copy paste your entire resume content into that uh, window and that would give you the exact word count how uh, and according to that word count in your resume you can just tweak a little bit to ensure that you meet the ideal resume length so ideally if your resume length is around 500 words then your chances of getting an interview call are increased okay and the last fifth tip is about try to avoid any buzzwords or cliches in your resume along with any abbreviations so if you have to uh, specify any uh, any abbreviation right so or talk about some uh, keyword do not try to write like ats for example try to elaborate that particular keyword like applicant tracking system and within the parenthesis you can just mention like ats so that however the recruiter might search for that particular keyword they are able to filter your resume okay or they are able to find your resume now what are these buzzwords and cliches so if you go to google again and search for resume cliches and buzzwords to avoid you would find some urls and you can just go through that particular raw documentation to understand what are those buzzwords and keywords uh, cliches that you would need to avoid in your resume so see these are some of those buzzwords like a fast learner so instead you can use something like this so as i said in my prior tip you would always need to quantify and it should always be a measurable uh, measurable value right so it should always be something that through which the recruiter or the hiring manager are able to uh, measure your raw uh, key strengths in that particular domain or the technology and are able to shortlist you so try to not so try not to use such kind of a buzzwords in your resume so you can just go through this particular uh, page so there are like uh, different articles as well so you can just find out what are the um, buzzwords and cliches that you would need to avoid in your resume all right so um these are the five different tips that uh, i wanted to bring it up to your notice now our focus is just to understand like how to increase the number of interview calls in front of the other candidates with the recruiter 
So try to please follow these uh, five golden tips that I have shared throughout this uh, throughout this video, so that your chances of getting hired or chances of getting a call is increased. Okay. So this is all about. So, so this is all about how uh, the tips and tricks that you can include while writing an effective resume for your interviews. So I hope this, you know, this video is helpful for you to stand out with the other candidates who are also applying for the job interviews and how you are able to uh, validate and update your resume according to the need of the job market. So that's it for today. Thank you.